Welcome guys, this is Edwin and today we are going to sleep joints and I'm going to show you my Northwoods sleep joint collection. I'm planning to do a, a sleep joint collection video across the board, my Northwoods and then we'll go with my GECs. But Northwood is the brand that started my love for sleep joints back in 2013 when I discovered this pattern right here, okay? And if you don't know this, 95% of the Norwoods is manufactured or made by GEC. That is a brand that I love to collect and we'll go through that collection as well. Now, let me tell you what I've been carrying for a little while right now. Recently, I got this nice leather slip by Erika's EDC. It's just been like a week or so and you can see it's already taking shape of this beautiful GEC 78. That is what I've been carrying lately a lot beautiful click point and we'll go through the GEC collection but i just wanted to show you what i'm currently carrying as a sleep joint because i always have a sleep joint on my pocket and in this case with this beautiful beautiful leather slip right here so check her out man she's killing it with this pattern look at this beautiful beautiful so this is what i've been carrying but norwood's knife is the one brand that got me into it back in 2013, starting with the Fremont Jack or the Fremont Jack right here. Beautiful Warren Cliff. You will notice a lot of Warren Cliffs with Norwoods, and I love it. Love the Warren Cliff, really utilitarian style of blade for me. Love what they do with that kind of stamp on the blade, rustic feel. This will be something, a theme that you will see across the board with Norwoods and then that, that, you know, that chill right there is really, really nice. Stack covers, like you can see, beautiful. And dudes, I carry this a lot, a lot in 2013 and 2014. Love the Fremont Jack. Let me leave it right here for you guys. Next, we'll go, we'll go through the collection. Next is this one known as the Faget Jack, I think. It's a dog leg style of pattern, like you can see right here. And one of the things, I love my stacks, I love the wood, but man, micarta, oof, love it as well. This brown burla micarta, like you can see right here, that dog leg pattern. And again, in this case, you got that Warren Cliff style of blade as well. Notice, I haven't really carried this guy right that much. Uh, brand new blade, haven't been seen a lot of use or at all. But again, another one, little bit smaller, right? It's what, two point, let me see. 2.25, inches overall. Excellent action. This is how it compares with the Fremont Jack. Now. A big one, one that I really, really like, and you might notice some of these guys might have wax or oil on them because, you know, I put wax on my knives or oil on them. This is the Forest Jack. Pretty nice, big pattern. Ebony wood cigar pattern. Another nice, aggressive Warren Cliff right there. Look at that beauty with that rustic look. Excellent, excellent, excellent cigar pattern right here. Little bit bigger than your Fremont Jack, like you can see, I mean, love it as well. This is the Forest Jack. Next, one that I love, not a one clip, this is a clip point, so we will look at that. This is known as the Big Bay, an American Jack with this nice blueberry, blueberry burlap. My Carta, love the bolsters. Love that brush finished bolster with that arrowhead. What a beauty. And then you have that nice clip point on this beautiful, beautiful Big Bay American Jack. This guy is from 2018. 2018. And this guy right here is from 2015. Okay. Now, after the free one, I got this guy right here and he's the Hawthorne. So this was my second, my second Northwood. It's like a slim jack, you know, very slim, elongated style of Warren Cliff right there. Blue camel bone, beautiful, 2014. I carry this guy, love it as well. 
great, great action on this Slim Jack Blue Camo Bone from 2014. Keep going, keep going, Edwin, keep going, guys. Next, two, I have two bear legs right here. Okay, so let's look at them. Burlap, like you can see this one, I think it's known as the Frosted Burlap Micarta with that style of play. Love that switch. Again, another beautiful representation and execution by GEC and the Norwoods brand. And this is the same model, but with that blueberry, bluish burla micarta. Very, very nice. A little bit more compact, right? The reverse leaf board style of pattern, I will say. The bare leg from 2022. Okay, these guys right here are from 2022, these two. So pretty recent on Norwood standards, right? That's actually pretty recent. Now, the Michigan Jack from 2015, this was my third. Norwood's a beautiful with that easy open style right there. This guy, oil white camel bone, like you can see. Beautiful knife right here. Another home run. I love my single bladed pocket knives. Love them. Find them really useful. Even, even that right now I'm carrying a, you know, a two blade one. But man, the Michigan Jack, just a freaking beauty. I love it all, guys. Love it all. <laughs> we keep going. I don't know if this line up here good or not, but we'll keep going on it. Next, this one is known as the Presidential. Okay, and one thing you will notice, a cigar pattern, just like this uh, forest jack right here, but flat. Okay, flat bolsters, flat bolster and flat cigar pattern style, okay? So you will notice that this has been carried, it's been loved. Look at that, let me zoom in here. Look, two blades stick right there. The precision, man, the precision on this is insane, okay? Two blade, you got a spear point, very nice. Very nice size, let me go back again. This is a great, great, great EDC. If you don't like Warren Cliffs, man, the Presidential, definitely another great one. And then this guy right here is a little pen blade, Warren Cliff style of blade right there on the back. The Presidential, this is a EDC home run, in my opinion, if you want a big knife, not big, but you know, this blade, this main blade is three inches, right? You, can do anything with this guy right here. Love the Presidential, very easy to carry given that he's that slim. And then the construction on this guy is super, super impressive on it. The Presidential from, did I say the date on this one? This guy right here is from 2014. So 2015, 2014, I should, I should have put them in order of, <laughs> of date, but hey, it's in my little box right here, guys. Now, the next one, oh man. This, this blue camel bone is just insane. Known as the Delta Jack right here. Warren Cliffs blue camel bone covers. And this is just a beauty. Beauty. <laughs> Love this Delta Jack right here. Oh my God, look at that. A beauty, another Warren Cliff, really easy to carry. Just another home run. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of big knives. Okay, this is known as the Lookout Jack. And actually, I scored this at the website in 2021. I carried this guy, Desert Ironwood. Beautiful wood. That's another thing, and you will notice that with my GCs. Love wood on my pocket knives, okay? In terms of those covers, love it, love it. Desert Ironwood, this guy has a drop point, 
okay definitely in the bigger side on it's a definitely a big blade right there well let's see 3.5 inches so single blade drop point really really nice style if you need a big knife man the lookout jack is definitely a beauty okay that's in desert ironwood and then i have this one right here in blue camel bone yes 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 what a freaking beauty let's let's zoom in into this beautiful camel bone right here and guys i don't know if i mentioned it but i love i love that stamp of rustic norwoods right there norwoods you know in that rustic look i should say okay flush right there on that half stop just a freaking beauty like you can see man killing it killing it on these releases the lookout jack of course in the bigger side for some people so i totally understand that this guy might be a little bit too big for your normal you know having a pocket knives and stuff like that i understand that so lookout jack on the bigger side next this one is made by queen with the green camel bone indian river jack from 2015 and one of the main reasons was that they wanted to have a cpm 154 steel blade on this one so this guy is cpm 154 and queen was the only company at least that they found that will do that style of steel for them so really really cool the indian river jack you don't find this one a lot around and again good size very comparable to i will say to that beer leg in term of size okay let me show you there now you know of course one clip versus spear point and of course all these other blades by gc are 1095 so let me put this indian river jack up here for you guys next a little congress style of pattern known as the norfolk okay it has ivory on the cover so let me zoom in on that so you can check that out pinch bolsters this is a little knife okay have this beautiful beautiful one cliff very 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 thin and then this little pen blade right there the Norfolk Congress style of pattern. Very, very beautiful, beautiful style. Let's put this guy right here for you guys and let's zoom out again. We continue now. In terms of big knife, you have the Lookout Jack, but then the Madison Barlow is probably my favorite big style of blade. This one I'm going to show you right now is a two bladed Madison Barlow. I do prefer the single blade. You will notice I love single blade pocket knife. Same thing you will notice with GECs. But this is a two bladed Madison Barlow. And this, this is just wax. Be aware of that. But this blue camel bone, man, they did an excellent job. I needed to jump in on this one. I was able to score this one on their side. So a beautiful, beautiful execution. Two bladed madison barlow great great action on it okay and you can see i'm of course excellent construction as well now what i will mention now is my four madison barlows because this is definitely one of my favorite norwoods pattern the madison barlow on the bigger side great great utilitarian blade right here okay and it's just excellent Ebony Wood, if I remember correctly, this guy was released in 2014. 2014, this one as well. No, this one is 2015. And these guys were in 2014. Ebony Wood, this blade right here is 3.25 inches. And guys, just a beautiful, beautiful slim design. Half stop. Man, love the Madison Barlow. Let me show you, I have a couple with natural micarta right there. Madison Barlow again, great action. One of these guys, I polished it recently. You know, it was that full of patina. Love carrying the Madison Barlow right here. I don't know if it's this one. I polish it back with flits and all that. 
Love the Madison Barlow. Just a great, great knife and excellent action, okay? Great, great action on this guy. Madison Barlow by Norwood's Knife, one of my favorites. And this one is my Carta Handles. I do have a couple of my Carta Handles, Ebony Wood, and let me put this guys right here. And this one right here, oh man, one of the stars of the show, Ivory, Madison Barlow, okay? Oof, oh boy, from 2014, okay? see love that look of that bolster with the arrowhead and then very very nice and ergonomic Madison Barlow right here beautiful next a couple of more and that's it that's it for the collection of Norwoods is the heritage jack from recent recent drop if I remember uh, no not recent not recent the heritage jack uh, that beautiful Borla Micarta as well. In this case, you have a nice wide spear point. Look at this. Very, very nice. Very, very cool. Another home run in terms of you want a single blade pocket knife. This can do anything for you, okay? And very easy to carry. I do have another Heritage Jack in Mammoth Ivory, and this is definitely oof. Hot, hot to the touch right here. <laughs> love it. Love this mammoth ivory on this Heritage Jack. Look at this. And this one, I was able to score it in one of the drops. Check this out. Beautiful, beautiful mammoth ivory right here. Again, the similar spear point right there with your classic classic Norwood stamp, long nail knit that I love, USA stamp right here, and that rustic look on the flats on that blade. And guys, this is my collection of the Norwood knives, okay? Sleep joints, and for sure, for sure, you know, if you have any question, let me know. I'll make sure that I post this part one, and the next video will be my GCs, and that one might need to have the two-part video. So guys, you know where to find me, Calo PR on Instagram, and of course, feel free to check me out in, in the other videos or in caloblaze.com and all that. You guys have a great, great day out there. Bye.